So I have here a bunch of Unify HDs and a bunch of Unify Nanos uh, sitting here. And I'm probably just basking in some Wi-Fi. Uh, actually, these aren't even adopted yet because that's what they're getting ready for is a client project. And why do we sell so many Unify Ubiquities? And I, there's always gonna be some hater in the comment. I used one once and it fell apart. Um, I've had someone tell me that they can't get one to stay up and running for more than like a day, they just fall apart. And I don't understand this. Uh, probably there's a lot more to the story than they're letting on. Uh, two, they probably spent zero time reading how any of this stuff works and they just plugged it in and it didn't work the way they expected. And uh, I just kind of take those people and take the haters, they need a hug, they need to RTFM uh, and you know take them with a grain of salt too. Back to Ubiquity here. So one of the things we've seen in the market over the years, and I've been working in tech for over 20 years now, is this constant let's build a license model, software as a service, license model around there. And of course they build all these, and this is famous in the Cisco world, the channel partner networks, and then everything has a fee, everything has a license, and that license keeps recurring, 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 and then they pay the channel partners, get a percentage, and that's cool. If you're just in this business to make money, don't even look at these. This is probably not for you. Uh, if you're going, you know, and I've had literally text, many of them unfortunately tell me this, and I see unfortunately, because I'm just not a big fan of this mentality in the tech business of I'd sell them, but you know, they don't have license fees I can make enough money on. Well, it's a great product. Well, that's besides the point. And I've, you know, this is a common thing. If you spend time in any of the tech forums, they first look at what the commission rate is on a product before they'll look at, you know, things like security, quality of product. Is it a right fit for your client? A lot of times it starts with, well, what can I make? What's my recurring uh, monthly on this? What's my recurring annual when I do a renewal on these license fees? Well, that's like some tech's very first thoughts on that. And this is where U Ubiquity has really made themselves stand out in the market. And I've even watched a competitor. So people told me, oh, look at Open Mesh, Tom. And as soon as I see an Open Mesh, I'm like, they don't have a business model. They're going to sell me a product and give me a free dashboard. That's not sustainable. Free cloud dashboards, at some point, someone's got to pay the cloud bill. And the cloud is just someone else's computer, as we all know. That means there's a fee. And the, ideally, I guess their plan was we're going to sell enough product to keep giving people a free dashboard. And that's that's definitely going to be problematic. And of course it was. They uh, got acquired and now there's a fee uh, for their dashboard. Uh, Datto bought them. So let's go back to Unify here. Their business model has been and something we really like. We've deployed thousands of these. The fact that you can self-host the controller. Now, that is a game changer in the market, really, and especially making uh, Ubiquity stand out against all the competitors. Because we've seen some of these companies and they just keep raising fees. You get them put in here and you know you have to pay those license fees. And I'm not saying there's no value in paying license fees, but I'm saying there is a problem when those license fees can get kind of changed arbitrarily, when they just kind of go up because, well, it, they decided they need to make more money. And this creates a real problem for some of the business owners because they feel very trapped and locked in. Second, they also have the problem of all their data being somewhat in control. I know the data doesn't loop out and uh, go to the cloud. There's this misconception that it goes out to the controller and comes back. It doesn't, it wouldn't make any sense to do it that way. But you are relinquishing control once you give that cloud, that cloud, that dashboard outside external from your company is where all the settings live and can only be controlled. You have no internal control. This is, especially as some of the larger corporate companies are really looking at this going, you know, there's a lot that feeds over to here that we don't have this direct control over. And this has become a bigger and bigger concern. And Unify offering the controller, and I like this business model. They sell hardware, that hardware part of the funding that goes not only to making and researching new and better hardware, also goes to a dev team that spends time building this controller software. And the controller software can be self-hosted, or they've also left options for companies like myself to play middleman, and we host a controller. That controller is hosted in our stack, and then we manage the Wi-Fi for our clients because they don't want to manage the controller themselves. This specific project is going to an internal IT team and that's one of the re reasons they really like this. They go, wow, we can just put this system in. We can manage all of our locations from our central data center and all of our little satellite offices through a dashboard just like we do. This is one of the things that makes Ubiquity really stand out. Uh, the quality of their product is really good. The things that I see techs mostly getting mad about is the fact that they, their customers can figure out the end pricing, their customers can buy it. So it gets this uh, in a lot of these people's heads, well, it must be a consumer product because consumers can buy it. 
No, no, this is just them looking at the business model differently. And this is how Unify has stood out in the market. Um, have we had any problems with these? Yeah, a couple, minor, but we're talking thousands of deployments. Have I ever had a switch go bad by Unify? I've had this brought up to me before. And I'm like, yeah, and we are made. It was no big deal. Matter of fact, their switches are one, unlicensed. You don't have to have a license for their access points or switches or their equipment. And their RMA process is easy. And we've had people because of the uh, great pricing on their equipment, we just help people keep a spare. And they don't think to do that in some of the other markets because let's take Meraki, for example. If you were to even keep a spare, you're going to have to pay a license fee on it for something you're not using. Well, with Unify, you don't. And this has been a real game changer. Now, like I said, there's going to be some IT people that just don't like them because of that. And I see all kinds of people that are complaining about there's not enough support, et cetera, et cetera. And yeah, they kind of rely on people like me being in the middle for support, but they offer an amazing amount of documentation. Read the manual. And I know that's something not every tech wants to do. They just want to sell it. They want to plug it in and magic happen. Well, maybe then you're best suited to sell something that has those license fees because those license fees do go to making the magic happen without you having to think about it or understand some of the technology and implementation behind it. And we have not had a problem, you know, making money, selling these, making money to manage these for clients and making money on the deployments. And we have no problem at all when people say, I don't want to buy it from you, but I just want to pay you for your time to set it up. That's a perfectly fine. We did a deployment for a hospital. They had bought all of them themselves because of the quantity. They were really fighting for the best price with their internal IT team. I said, then skip me. Just go completely pay me for the labor. I'll give you a quote on just the configuration deployment. And they go, well, that's reasonable. And these are business models that have allowed us because obviously the competitor had no interest in that because they wanted to make a commission on the hardware. They wanted to make a commission on the labor. They wanted to make a commission on all the recurring revenue for licensing fees and sell them on all of that. And this is... I mean, that's fine. Like I said, if you're just in this business to make money, then probably that's a better way to go than the Unify route. Um, it will require less manual reading because a lot of them work more out of the box. But the default configs on Unify, I'm going to say, are pretty good. It's only a little minor amount of fine tuning that you do. But in the bigger picture, one of the things that's really important is that you think about how you do your deployments. Because if you don't deploy these in an effective way, and this goes with any piece of hardware, or you use crappy cabling, wiring, etc., you're going to end up with problems with whatever product you use. But uh, this is why we sell the Unify line. This is why I'm kind of like a fan of it, of just they offer this really simple dashboard that you can host that's not tied to some cloud controller. And, you know, these are things that scare us. I mean, obviously Cisco and companies like that, I'm not really worried as much about declaring bankruptcy. But when you see some of these smaller companies, because it's a very competitive market and they're trying to get it, you know, these race to the bottom is like, we'll just keep charging less and less fees for our cloud dashboard. And next thing you know, they're in the news because they declared bankruptcy. And where does that leave you with all those products you have deployed? Uh, I've seen people talk about this and we've seen it more so in the consumer markets, um, but there's been some consumer markets products that the dashboard that the system ties to, the company declared bankruptcy, the dashboard went away, so did all the product. It just turns into a pumpkin at midnight. It just dies. It breaks. It's nothing you can uh, use anymore. So that not being an issue with Unify, the fact that you can self-host this, I think really gives them an interesting market position. Uh, it makes us, the fact that these products work, the fact that we've deployed so many of these, they've been very, very trouble-free. We've done school districts, medical facilities, tons of small businesses. Uh, these are going in a whole, well, this is just another batch of them going in to provide a series of libraries that we're working with. Uh, Wi-Fi that's with this particular deployment and their big enough library network that they have their own internal IT team to go across both the locations and they're thrilled with it. We've, you know, got some of the locations done and they're like, wow, this is like a beautiful dashboard. We're hosting it ourselves. They feel comfortable with it. They feel in control of it. They paid us for our time to set it up and we turn the keys over to them and uh, it's working out really well. So like I said, this is why we sell the Unify. Uh, I'm really happy with it and I'll quit babbling about that. So uh, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments or continue the conversation or forums and let me know or you can be that one person who told me uh, they rip out Unify all the time because they're junk and they don't work and maybe offer a better explanation than your YouTube all caps rants. So, all right, thanks. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to this channel to see more content, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon and maybe YouTube will send you a notice when we post. If you want to hire us for a project that you've seen or discussed in this video, head over to lawrencesystems.com where we offer both uh, business IT services and consulting services and are excited to help you with whatever project you want to throw at us. 
Also, if you want to carry on the discussion further, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can keep the conversation going. And if you want to help the channel out in other ways, we offer affiliate links below, which offer discounts for you and a small cut for us that does help fund this channel. And once again, thanks again for watching this video and see you on next time.